I am super hungry, so we should get through this fast so my stomach doesn't make noise. Hey guys, it's Riley, and today is my birthday. I am now 17 years old. In honor of this being my 17th birthday, I thought I'd share with you 17 things that I have learned within 17 years of being on Earth. So without further ado, here we go. People could literally not care less what you look like in the morning. If not now, then when? If you're not gonna do something now, when are you gonna do it? Get off your butt and go do what you wanna do. Getting up fairly early feels pretty nice. Like if you get up before noon or like 11 a.m., you feel a lot more productive. You don't feel like you've missed out on your day. It's really, really nice. It's something that I've done, I enjoy it. Making time to pamper and take care of yourself is also like super important. Um, because you really need to take care of yourself. You will grow out of certain friendships and relationships, and that is perfectly okay. People mature, some people don't. You will lose people like this because you've grown out of them. And that's an okay thing to say. Being yourself, being you is such a good feeling. You just gotta freaking do it. I don't know, I can't give advice on like how to do it because I'm, everybody's situation is different, but as soon as you feel like you are able to be your true self, it feels so good. <laughs> of course, now that I'm saying this, I'm a hypocrite, but having a clean room is really nice, whether you were told to clean it or not. Being in a clean environment is really great and it makes you feel more productive. Now I'm being a hypocrite today because I've been so stressed out with jobs and videos and things that my room is kind of a disaster area. This is all a lie but having a clean room is really nice. Please do not maintain toxic relationships. If you or someone in a relationship you know, or if you are being like abused, or if it is toxic, if this relationship is not good for you, get out. I cannot stress this enough. This is something I needed to tell myself several years ago, is that if I am in a toxic relationship, that is not good for me to get out. Out. whether I see it or not like if people are warning you that this is having a bad effect on you like don't just brush them off and be like oh get out you just don't want me to be happy whatever you need to like take a step back and think are their observations correct thinking about other people is great like doing stuff for other people is absolutely amazing and it makes you a great person but sometimes you got to put yourself first and you just gotta recognize that there are some things that you have to do for you before you can do stuff for other people. Please, please good lord, make sure you're in a good and stable mental state. This is such a hard thing for a lot of people, it was a hard thing for me. Do what you can to, if you're not in a mental, good mental state, to get help. It's so important because if you're in a good mental state, your life will just seem so much better. On that note, don't repress your feelings. If you are feeling upset about something, talk about it. Find someone you can talk about it with, whether that's a friend, a family member, a therapist, someone on an online chat forum like um, Blah Therapy. It's really good to get things like that off your chest if you're feeling upset, because talking about it, even if it's not like in person, if you have trouble with that, go on something like blahtherapy.com, and that way it's so much easier because you're talking to someone anonymously. They don't know you, you don't know them, and it's much easier to vent and just talk about what's going on. And it's so, 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 so important to not bottle things up. Every single person on this planet is different, whether that be race, whether that be weight, or height, or eye color, or hair color, or gender, or sexuality, like, it doesn't matter. There's always something different about every single person. There are no two people that are the exact same. And embrace that. Embrace the differences that you see in other people instead of putting them down or judging them for it. Reading books is nice. I used to be a bookworm and then I went into high school and then I stopped being a bookworm and now that I picked it back up again, I can't put them down. It feels really great. It takes you away to a different world. It helps you learn a lot of things. Reading books is great. Taking baths is very great. Baths are great. Baths are nice and they are not just for children. Um, I'd also recommend trying bath bombs or bubble bath. Take lots of pictures. Take pictures of everything. Looking back on the memories that you have actually captured is so much fun. Even if you take pictures of a relationship or something and it ends badly, 
don't delete those pictures. You're going to want those pictures later in life because there are going to be times when you look back and you're like, oh, I had really good experiences with this person. And you're not going to necessarily look at the negative. And it's such a really good thing to be able to have and be like, wow, look at all these cool things I did. And you have like actual proof and reminder that you did them instead of just something in your head. Friends are really great. Having friends is such an important thing, whether you have a couple or a lot, but you don't need a lot of friends to have a good time. Sometimes you don't need any friends to have a good time. Alone time is good. Social time is good, but it's very important to get a good balance so you're not a recluse or so you're not like totally drained from being with people all the time. You gotta find the right balance for you. It's different for everybody, but having friends is really important and you may say I can't find friends that's how I was but honestly look to the internet I have found so many amazing friends through internet through people on the internet through different things like I found my friends through the collab channel I found friends through the Tyler Oakley meetup I went to it's so easy to find people who are into the same stuff that you are and just because that person is not there physically doesn't mean they're not your friend you're worth it you always have been, you always will be. No matter what it is you're worthy of, you're worth it. You are worth living, you are worth breathing, you are worth being happy. You are worth having that extra piece of cake if you want that extra piece of cake. You are worth life. And it's really important to remember that. Well, I hope you enjoyed those 17 things that I've learned in 17 years. It was really fun coming up with a list of just a bunch of these different things that I could maybe share with you guys that you guys will take to heart. I don't know. I thought it was fun. Also, on another note, the first winner for the gift keyboard giveaway stash thing has been announced. Congratulations, Lou Venable, for winning the extra large t-shirt. There is still a ton of stuff for me to give away, like a water bottle, two pairs of sunglasses, um, a medium t-shirt and a ton of stickers so be sure if you want to enter this contest I will put a link here and there will be a link in the description to the giveaway please 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 go enter the next giveaway will take place when I reach 150 subscribers I think I'm like 20 away from that so if you want to win something make sure you follow the instructions in the video in the description of the video and tell your friends to subscribe so the next video happens quicker that's what I've got for you guys today thank you for watching and Happy birthday to me. Bye.